So hello everybody, my name is Vivian Robertson and I'm the creative director of Reclaim the Void and I'm speaking to you from my home on the Biliukurubap down here on the south coast. But actually this project is about land up that way, north of here a thousand kilometres, Wangata country and the home of the Ignalia language group. And this project is a collaboration between myself and the Nalia Heritage Research Council Aboriginal Corporation. So back in 2013, I was invited by cultural custodian Kato Muir to come and speak with the elders and community in Leonora about art projects. And we had a conversation and somehow I sensed that there was something unspoken. So I asked this question, what is your deepest pain? And one of the aunties said, it's all those gaping mining holes left all over country. And the whole room fell silent and sombre and everyone nodded and agreed. And that gravitas in the room somehow struck me in the heart and immediately this vision arrived of one of those mining holes covered with an artwork that would tell the story of the jukupa, or the dreaming of that country. And so I shared that vision with the group there and they stayed silent and thought about it and then Auntie looked me straight in the eye and said, yes, do that. Yeah, so that was in um, 2013 and over the years, Kato and his wife Diva and myself just touched base about the project and I didn't know if it was going to happen or not. And in 2020, Kato and myself were co-leading two song dance culture retreats on country. And we were sitting around the fire one night and he suddenly said to me, okay, it's time. And at the second one of those retreats, an artist, Lucy Ridsdale, came along and she pulled out a rag rug, like one of these ones, to sit on. And Kato looked at it, and again, we're sitting around the fire, and he said, that's it. That's what we'll use. We'll use rag rugs made by people as the dots in a huge dot artwork. It's actually a really almost addictive thing to do, this, this weaving of rugs. It's very rhythmic, very calming, very meditative. And I guess what we're hoping also is that in the time it takes, and there's something beautiful about slow work in our current world, and in the time that it takes to make one of these rugs, we're hoping that people actually reflect on what they're doing. Um, this project's about reparation and acknowledging the pain that has been done to country and to the custodians of country, all these holes that we've dug. And in that acknowledgement is actually a gift of healing When we're out on country, we sit together under the trees and do this and we chat, or we share stories. Quite often we're in silence and also we sing together. It's something that people have been doing forever and a day and we've sort of lost that in our world. So a really nice opportunity to do that together whilst we're actually making a gift for country. So we have a fabulous team working on this project. We've got Kato Muir as the cultural consultant. We've got artists Lucy Ridsdale, Rachel McKenzie, and more recently, Maria and Alicia have joined us as artists working with schools. And we've also got an environmental advisor, Professor Kingsley Dixon, who's a specialist in ecological restorations around mine sites. And we've got Rob Castiglione as our filmmaker, Nick Duncan as our photographer, and Michael Halawana, who's going to be taking the aerial shots of the final installation. And we've got a partnership with the WA Museum, the Bulabadip, and the Museum of the Goldfields. And in late 23 or early 24, we're going to be offering an exhibition in partnership with the museum. And that will be cultural material, films, photographs, rugs made by artists and community, and also the final images of the installation. And 
If you imagine looking down on the earth and looking at that beautiful, beautiful, vast country, a lot of it which has been ravaged by mining holes, and then seeing this jewel of an artwork sitting there based on an original painting by Dolly Walker, Cato Muir's mother, but actually coming to life through the contributions of thousands of hands and hearts from across the world. So thank you for being involved in this project. I know it means a lot to the custodians of country and I hope you also fall in love with rug making. And if you want to become more involved or know other people that would like to be involved, then you can run a workshop, you can start a rug hub, you can make rugs individually, or you can come out on a camp on country. So just check out the website and um, you'll see the different ways to be involved. But thank you. Oh, and there I need to join another piece and continue the weaving country hole.